Have you ever wondered how the rise of artificial intelligence and robotics can shake up our socioeconomic stability? The fourth industrial revolution is upon us, a new era characterized by the rapid advancement of technologies such as artificial intelligence and robotics. The pace at which these technologies are developing is mind-boggling. Imagine machines that can learn, reason and even perceive emotions just like us humans. Robots capable of performing tasks that once required human hands and minds. But as these technologies continue to evolve, they carry with them a seismic shift, one that could disrupt our socio-economic landscape. Let's take a moment to unpack this. As AI and robotics become more sophisticated, they are poised to take over many jobs currently performed by humans. From manufacturing to customer service, even to sectors we might consider safe from automation like healthcare or legal services. This job displacement could leave many without a source of income, leading to increased wealth inequality. Moreover, as machines take over jobs, corporations stand to reap enormous profits, while the displaced workers could find themselves struggling, this could lead to an economic instability that we have not seen before. And then, there's the question of who controls these technologies. While they hold immense potential for societal good, they also hold the power to be used as tools of social control. For instance, AI algorithms could be used to manipulate public opinion, while robots could be used to enforce order. So as we stand at the precipice of this technological revolution, we must pause and consider its implications. The decisions we make today will shape the world of tomorrow. This isn't about resisting change, after all, the fourth industrial revolution is inevitable. It's about making sure that we navigate this change in a way that benefits all, not just a select few. As we stand on the brink of this technological revolution, we must ask ourselves, what will be the economic and social consequences? Could the destabilization caused by AI and robotics be utilized as a manufactured crisis by governments? It's a question that seems far-fetched, almost dystopian, but it's one we must dare to ask. A manufactured crisis is a situation that's either created or manipulated by those in power to achieve a specific outcome. It's a chess game, where the pawns are unwittingly moved to facilitate the rise of the king. Think of it as a magician's trick, where the illusion distracts from the real action. Now let's bring AI and robotics into the picture. They're the game changers of the fourth industrial revolution, and their impact on our socio-economic fabric is undeniable. Rapid advancements in these fields have the potential to reshape entire industries. They promise efficiency, precision, and innovation, but these benefits come with their share of challenges. Consider the scenario of mass unemployment. As AI and robotics become more pervasive, jobs once performed by humans could be automated. This displacement could lead to widespread job loss, creating an army of unemployed individuals. The resulting social unrest could be significant, leading to protests, strikes, and even violence. Or imagine a situation where AI-driven software and robots outperform humans in critical sectors like healthcare, education, or defense. It could lead to a power imbalance, where those who control the technology wield disproportionate influence. In both these scenarios, we see a potential for a manufactured crisis. Governments could exploit these situations, using the unrest and instability as a pretext to introduce drastic measures. The crisis could be framed as an inevitable consequence of progress, a necessary evil on the path to a technologically advanced future. This is where the idea of elite social control comes into play. In the face of a crisis, governments could argue for the need for tighter control, for sweeping changes to our economic and social systems, and the public, desperate for stability and security, might just accept these changes. In conclusion, Governments could potentially use this crisis to introduce radical changes to our economic system. It's a chilling thought, but one we must confront as we navigate the complex landscape of the fourth industrial revolution. One of these radical changes could be the establishment of a central bank digital currency. But what does that mean for us? Well, to put it simply, a central bank digital currency, or CBDC, is a type of virtual currency that is issued and regulated by a country's central bank. Unlike cryptocurrencies which are decentralized and often subject to wild price fluctuations, a CBDC would be a stable digital representation of a country's fiat currency. This means it's directly equivalent to physical money like the dollars or euros in your pocket. Sounds promising, right? And it is. CBDCs offer a slew of potential benefits. They could provide a secure, efficient, and inclusive means of payment, reducing the reliance on physical cash, which can be costly to produce, transport, and maintain. 
Moreover, CBDCs could offer greater financial inclusion, particularly in developing countries where access to traditional banking services may be limited, but like any innovation, CBDCs also come with their own set of challenges. One of the main concerns is privacy. While cash transactions are anonymous, digital transactions leave a trail. This raises questions about how data will be collected, stored and used, and by whom. Further, there's the potential for CBDCs to be used as a tool of control. In a world where money is entirely digital, central banks could have unprecedented power over the economy. They could implement negative interest rates more easily for example, or control how digital money is spent. This could lead to a situation where not only is your income monitored, but so too is every single transaction you make. The implications of such a shift are vast. From financial institutions and payment service providers to everyday consumers, everyone would need to adapt to this new landscape. And while the potential benefits of CBDCs are considerable, it's crucial that we also consider the potential downsides. The implementation of a CBDC could drastically reshape our financial landscape and the way we interact with money. This isn't just about a new type of currency, it's about a new way of understanding and using money in our society. So, as we move forward, it's crucial to keep these conversations going. Along with CBDC, another solution that governments might propose is the introduction of a universal basic income. But is it truly the answer we need? Let's delve into the concept of universal basic income, often referred to as UBI. This is a government program in which every adult citizen receives a set amount of money regularly, regardless of their work status or income level. UBI sounds like a promising solution, doesn't it? It can provide a safety net for those displaced by the rise of artificial intelligence and robotics in the workforce. It has the potential to reduce poverty, increase purchasing power, and even stimulate economic growth. UBI could also foster entrepreneurship by providing people with the financial security to take risks and innovate. However, as with any policy, there are potential downsides. Critics argue that UBI could disincentivize work, leading to reduced productivity, it could also lead to inflation if not properly managed. But perhaps the most significant concern is the potential for UBI to be used as a tool of social control. If a government controls the distribution of UBI, they could potentially manipulate it to influence behavior or suppress dissent. Imagine a scenario where access to your UBI could be cut off if you express views that the government deems undesirable. Or consider a situation where UBI is tied to certain behaviors like voting in a particular way or participating in certain activities. This could create a dangerous dynamic where citizens are financially dependent on the government, and where dissent becomes a luxury that many cannot afford. UBI, while potentially beneficial, also poses the risk of becoming a tool for social control. As we navigate the fourth industrial revolution, it's crucial that we critically examine these proposed solutions and strive for policies that promote socioeconomic stability without compromising individual freedom and autonomy. So, where does this leave us in terms of our future socioeconomic stability? As we've discussed, the fourth industrial revolution is ushering in a new era of artificial intelligence and robotics. These technological advancements have the potential to disrupt our socioeconomic stability significantly. They could lead to job losses and increased wealth inequality, creating a potential crisis. Whether this crisis is incidental or intentionally manufactured, the impact on society could be profound. In response to this potential crisis, one solution proposed is the establishment of a central bank digital currency, or CBC. This digital currency could provide governments with increased control over the economy, allowing them to respond more quickly and effectively to economic crises. However, it also raises concerns about privacy and freedom, as it could give governments an unprecedented level of surveillance over our financial transactions. Another proposed solution is the implementation of a universal basic income, or UBI. This policy could provide a safety net for those displaced by technological advancements, ensuring everyone has access to a basic standard of living. However, there are concerns that UBI could be used as a means of control by the elite, creating a dependent population. So what does this mean for the future of socioeconomic stability? Well, it's complicated. On one hand, these advancements could lead to unprecedented growth and prosperity. On the other, they could exacerbate inequality and lead to social instability. The potential for a manufactured crisis, the establishment of CBDC and UBI, and the potential for social control by the elite, all add layers of complexity to this issue. In conclusion, 
The future of socio-economic stability in the era of the fourth industrial revolution is uncertain. It will depend on how we navigate these challenges and opportunities, and that in turn, will depend on our ability to stay informed and engaged in these important discussions. In this era of rapid technological advancement, it is imperative that we remain vigilant and informed about the potential implications for our socioeconomic stability. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.